I'm good, thank you. That's good. Thanks for taking the time to do this. No worries. All right. What is your name? How old are you? And what do you do as a job? My name is Nicole Blake. I'm 45 years old and um, I'm a commercial banker. Right. What is your role and responsibilities within your job on a day-to-day -day So day -to -day? I, my official title would be relationship manager. Uh, and my responsibilities that entails in a um, commercial sense in banking means managing a set of clients or a portfolio of clients and their day-to-day -day banking needs as well as their investment and property purchase needs. Right. How long have you been in your current job? Um, I've been in the job for uh, 11 years in that current job, yes. Fantastic. Is this your first job? What did you do before and why did you change? It's not my first job, uh, not at this age. Um, and I've had lots of jobs beforehand, to be honest. Uh, I started out probably after university in retail for many years and I moved in lots of different retail positions. I worked in um, a job that enabled me to learn about book work and accounts, which I think then led to my interest in relation to accounting type of work. And I also studied during that time in relation to business administration. So basic book work and office work. And I learned that in several different roles. I decided that working in a bank would be an interesting um, extension of that. And I applied and was successful. Uh, I was probably about 20, uh, about 27 years old when I made that transition to banking and I started in um, automotive finance so obviously in car loans and yeah. um, lending money for cars and then I moved my way through um, some accreditation through the bank and learned more about property investment and commercial construction finance and therefore moved into that type of work at the bank where I stayed for that next 10 years so right. yeah. That's a bit of a transition, yeah. Yeah. All right, what subjects did you do at high school? Why did you choose these subjects? And did they link to what you wanted to do? Well, that's an interesting question. So at high school, I was very, uh, I did very well at maths and English, and I was a high achiever. I always did very well at high school. But I also had creative instincts and I was very keen by the end of high school to pursue those and I loved my art. So I was, a very, I was very torn by the end of high school in relation to what I was going to follow. I went to university and did an arts degree and my plan was to perhaps pursue teaching after that. But when I went into the workforce, that changed. And I think I always reflect and find it's interesting now to look back on my interest in maths in high school and yeah. funnily enough, turning out working in the, my longest career as a banker. So yeah. I didn't have a, my, I suppose the easiest answer would be is that there's not, there wasn't a clear path. There yeah. wasn't, I, I, I wanted to do this in high school and therefore that's, that's what, what I did. did A, B and C a, to get there. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. definitely, definitely a different path, I think. Yeah. All right. Did you have to do extra study once you left school to get your job? If you did, what did you have to do? Your current job? No, not, a, not at all. I think um, I was successful getting into banking at ground level because I had had excellent references and my work ethic was extremely high. So although I didn't have specific banking training or experience, I had a very strong work ethic and I had the personal qualities that enabled me to land that ground level job. Yep. Um, large organisations and corporations quite often offer training on the job. Yep. And in my 10 years or more with the bank, I've done multiple courses and which were um, part of new learning curves as you know technology changes and things change in large corporations. They always make staff do a lot of training. So I've done training throughout the course of my career. Yep. Cool. Now you can give us an approximate on this. You don't get like a bracket. Um, how much do you earn? A bracket? Uh, probably roughly between 90 and 110. Right. Is there high employment opportunities in your field? Very much, very much. And especially in this environment, and I reflect,
reflects on someone saying to me earlier this year, uh, what job do you work in? And I answered um, in commercial banking. And they said, oh, no, not the right time to be a banker, is it? But actually, conversely, it is a very, very good time to be a banker. Um, demand is extremely high for bankers. And although large corporations and banks are always refining their workforce, if you are front-facing, customer-facing, um, there's always large demand for that kind of work. It's very intensive, high-stress environment. Um, so sometimes um, you have to be suited to that kind of role, like with many other jobs. So yeah. I think it's still quite a lot of high demand for that, one, that type right. of work. You touched on this earlier, but how did you get your job and where did you look for the job? Oh, gosh, now you've got me thinking back. Um, where did I get it? Did you say sorry? Yes. Yeah, um, so how so did you get it and where did you look? Like, was it online? It? Was it word of mouth? Yeah. Did you paper? No, no, it was definitely an online advertised job that I applied for and interviewed for. Um, and that was the first role I got in Adelaide. Yeah. When I was, because I'm from Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what is hard about your job? Demanding clients um, are very hard work with, with any job, I think, uh, no matter what industry you're in. Um, very, very short time frames and having to work to specific tasks, being very task focused. Yeah. Um, so high pressure uh, deadlines. And if you work in fields in commercial banking where you have clients that are very high net worth, um, where the, the section that I worked in, for example, most of my clients were at least 50 to $100 million net wow. worth clients. So your requirements, these, these are types of clients that expect a high level of um, response and touch yep. and a high level of um, compliance in relation to what their needs are yep. and the timeframes that are required to meet those needs. So, um, and the work is very complex. Yep. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, what did you? What do you like about your job? I like the complexity of the work, yeah. which very much surprises me. But then again, thinking back to your earlier point, when I think about how I thought about maths at high school yeah. and how I did that top calculus class, and how I, and I really liked that complexity. And here I was years on. Um, I do enjoy that complexity, especially with large construction projects and the spreadsheets and the real intricate work that's required. The behind the scenes work, basically. I really yeah. like that about the job. Oh, cool. What traits would someone have to have to be in your job? Oh, yeah. Attention to detail, um, autonomy in relation to being able to be given instructions and follow them very specifically to the task. It's not, um, oh, I'll do that later. It has to be done yeah. extremely specifically now. Um, patience, um, but also very... But, to be likeable and have good customer skills because you do have to be relatable in most industries that are customer facing. You need yeah. to be able to build rapport with your clients, relate to other people um, and problem solve. Yeah. Mm. Cool. All right. And the last question, where can your job take you in real So this is referring to like travel opportunities and higher positions. Yep. yep. Um, if you work for a really, really large corporation that's national, for example, or even international, banking jobs could take you all over the world. Uh, certainly in my experience, for example, I had an affinity with some of the computer programs that were offered at the bank um, and they were running projects from Sydney on improving those programs and I was selected as a person to run some of those and work as a representative from Adelaide. So I moved to Sydney and actually flew backwards and forwards and um, co-located and I did that for 12 months or so. Right. Um, and that was a great opportunity. So you yeah. can, there are lots of opportunities in this industry in relation to working nationally or internationally. Yep, fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time. No We've worries at all. The answers. And it's, no worries. Um, I hope that's helped. Yeah, and it's an area that I had never, I mean, I know you, I know what you do, but I didn't realise exactly what you do. So it's very fascinating. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. No problems at all. I'm happy to help.